Hi friends, the world is made of two types of particles fermion and bosons this is just like the world is made of two types of people those who can extrapolate from incomplete data physicists know there are only two types of particles because those are the only mathematical possibilities also we thought until last week because a team of physicists from Rice University in Texas says there are a third type of particle the pair of particles let's have a look mathematics and physics are very closely linked and it's a two-way relation sometimes math advances physics and sometimes times the other. Way around one of the most amazing examples is I think the discovery of ferments the particles that matter is made of the ferments that matter is made of are characterized by having spin one half this means it's a particle which has a direction associated with it like an arrow but you need to turn it around twice for it to return to its original state imagine that the tip of the arrow goes around on a mobia strip if you go only 360 degrees you're on the wrong side you need to go around twice to return to the original position if this sounds confusing don't worry worry even the particle itself needs to do it twice to get it right the thing is that if you ask mathematically what are all the possible ways that particles can behave you get particles that behave like normal arrows you turn them 360 degrees and they're the same again those are called bonds and then you get those that you need to turn around twice which are the ferments but the behavior of the ferments is not something that we see in our everyday life without using maths physicists might never have come up with the idea in the new paper the author i'll say that moss actually predicts another a uh, third type of particle to see how this works you need to know that the spin of a particle also tells you how the particles behave if you combine several of them the bonds can do all the same thing at the same time like they can all have the same energy or sit in the same place for example but Furion won't do that Furion will all do different things in space out it's called the exclusion principle electrons are Furion and the exclusion principle is for example the reason why they sit around atomic nuclei in different shells in the new paper now they take a wave function that describes multiple particles the wave function is this s and then each of the axes here is for a particle the wave function itself has complex values but it's not observable we just use it to calculate probabilities by taking the absolute square but the order in which these x's appear here has no physical meaning you just pick this somehow it's like you can pick whether z is that direction or that direction it's an arbitrary choice so if you change the order of two of those entries this shouldn't change anything observable but since the wave function isn't observable we we can multiply it with some factor that has an absolute value of to 1 because that won't change probabilities if we now swap these entries again that creates another factor and gives back the wave function we started from this means that the factor is either plus or minus 1 if you didn't understand the thing with the wave function this is really the only thing that matters in the end there are only two options plus or minus 1 if it's plus 1 then you're dealing with a o on if it's minus 1 you're dealing with a furion it seems like there are no other options the authors of the new Papers say there's another way to do it these wave functions might have multiple entries that they call modes they're basically vectors and then this vector here isn't a number it's a matrix now we're looking for a matrix that squares to the identity and there are many more ways to do this than plus and minus one this is what they call pair of particles the idea itself isn't new it dates back to the 1950s however until now physicists thought that pair of particles can be taken apart into bosons and phi and again the authors of the new paper prove that this isn't so instead they say these are a genuinely new sort of particles and they show that pair of particles can definitely exist as quasi part particles quasi particles are not elementary they collective motions in some sort of material like sound fuels the authors of the new paper come up with an explicit example for how those pair of particles could be quasi particles in materials with suitable interactions this is interesting because the pair of particles neither fulfill the exclusion principle for phi n nor can they all sit in the same place like bonds they do something in between maybe that turns out to be useful for some technological applications even more interesting is that pair of particles could also exist as elementary particles maybe this is what dark matera is made of i have a feeling we might be seeing some papers about this soon but let's not get carried away there are a lot of things that are mathematically possible which we don't observe in nature for no particular reason for example it's mathematically totally possible to have particles with spin 17 and a half but we've never seen one in reality it's like nature is a really exclusive night club where they don't let in anything too exotic sorry spin 17 under half you're not on the list maybe try the universe next door the pair of particles are also there to me science is more than a profession it's a way to understand the world thanks for watching see you tomorrow